Hello, and welcome back to Mr. Anderson's Let's Play channel for some more Deadly Premonition. I decided to try this again. Uh, when I first started playing it, I was kind of new to Let's Playing. But I just visited a friend in the hospital, and uh, they asked me when I was going to start playing this game. So I decided now would be the right time. So this is take two of my Let's Play channel. It's a great game, by the way. There's lots of trees in the forest. Ooh, it's pretty funny. Oh. Yep. These kids should come over to my house for their fascinated with bugs. Tons of stink bugs hanging around. Dude, that ladybug's gonna bite the shit out of your hand. I'm going to laugh when it does. Don't run too far ahead, it's kids. To run around here, boys. You might find naked chicks hanging from trees. Hey, hurry up. You're too slow. It's my arthritis and diabetes. Now, now, boys, I want you to meet my girlfriend. There's nothing phallic about that tree right there. It's nice and pointy and hard. I like my wood. I mean, like wood. Birdie. Hey girl, we usually hang out around here. She looks like she's been crying. Luckily her nipples are covered up. That's right boys. Drink her in. Mm. You usually come around here? I mean, I'm surprised that the grandpa hasn't come in and stopped them looking at a naked tr chick hanging from a tree. <laughs> Watch your camel dick, dude, in those trousers. That's metaphor for the snake. That's growing in my pants. She has really nice hair. I wonder what product she puts in it. Or maybe she's one of those natural girls. Nah, her armpits are shaven. So she she can't be one of those all natural girls. Yes, that's the director's cut. Yep. She's pretty dead. I'm going to have to say this is murder by tree. Yeah, this is a great place for kids to hang out. Oh, don't worry about them. They're used to seeing naked chicks hanging around. They ain't faced by it. Jitterbug. Jitterbug. And get ready for the biggest crying montage ever. She's looking at the image of Wolverine laying in bed, looking at his own image. No. 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 
Yo, that girl's forearms are huge. She should be in over the top. She'd be the best arm wrestler. That looks familiar. <laughs> that lady looks so sick and tired of her if that guy's crying. Looks balling up a fist already. Never gonna get in the beauty school. Weary. Still waiting for Deadly Premonition 2. And I'm still waiting for Dark Dreams Don't Die, the second chapter, but that's never going to happen. Let's do this. I am so excited. Hopefully I don't suck this time. That'd be great. And look, you got Joker. He looks like the washed up transvestite. It's a really weird song for a girl to be humming, a little girl at least. Oh dear, he's never going to get ahead in life. You have to pay me a buck for every time I, I heard that. Hear another story. Ah, uh, yes, of course. You've been waiting a long time for this, so... How about a special one? This story is very strange and very nasty. Uh, but somewhat nostalgic. Perfect for Do a girl under 10. think you can be a good girl and listen all the way to the end? Is it a scary story? Mm, it might be. Grandpa always tells weird stories. It's also a very uh, important story. If you don't want to hear it, I can tell you a different story. No, I want to hear it. This way, I won't be scared. Will you turn on the TV then? Daddy Nisha's Skinamax. Sound down like always. Now, this is this is important. At times, we must purge things from this world because. Should not exist. Like a bloody tampon. Even if it means losing someone that you love. Words to live by, guys. <clears throat> you know, it's weird. It's rude to whisper. You just talking about me? Huh? Kids these days. All they do is sit around in the red rooms. So rude. Alright, I'm not having any frame um, rate issues, so that's good. Alright, guys. Could you wait just a little longer? Jeez, I came here to see you, and you're telling me to wait. Man. Sort of like going for a job interview. Go there, you're all ready, you're all dolled up, and they just tell you to wait. Okay. Observe. A strange clock is ticking away, though the room itself makes you feel as if time has stopped. Maybe it has. A doll is shaped like a fat man. It has a plate on it which reads Washington State. I guess we're in Washington State. Oh, hey ladies, what you doing here? Hmm, looking good. You need a tan, though. And, uh, doing the Sinead O'Connor look? A dummy for hanging costumes. 
give me the creep somehow. Thought it might be useful for jackets and such. Takes one to no one, dummy. Hmm. Oh, yes. I always carry around trading cards of myself in my pocket. But if I got paid $200 to do it, I would. A white screen. At least it's not a blue screen. Sorry to keep you waiting. It will start soon. It's about time to get started. Guys, if you have to go to the bathroom, I'm sure there's one around here somewhere. I mean, you are in the woods. If you identify as a bear, you can shit on a tree. I do. Zach. Zach. Can you hear me? It's me, York. My name's Mr. Anderson. Not Zach. If you can hear my voice, could you respond? It's Mr. Anderson. Not York. I mean, Zach. Good. I thought you went to sleep. I never sleep. Zach, I wait. Don't be surprised. The crime took place out in the country this time. Let's take it slow. Okay, Zach? Yeah, 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 whatever. Sure, that's one way of looking at it. But it's totally wrong. Listen, they both need each other. It's called interdependency, and they both know it. Yeah, I know. He does terrible things to Tom. Nasty, even sadistic things. But that's fine, as long as that's what Tom wants. Think of it. His actions. He's always asking for it. It's his partner's job to fulfill that need, and Jerry knows that. He's a douche. Proof? Well, in the Tom and Jerry show, they live with each other. Hello? Hello? I believe the Bureau still can't get me a satellite phone. These puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks. I knew the FBI was run by puppies! I'll be a happy camper, even if it ends up being a waste of time. At the very least, they can get me out of the cramped city for a while. Right, Zach? The perpetrator from the last case really was something. Who'd have thought there'd be razors laced into your nails? Crazy. Just crazy. Well, at least I now have a scar to show off. You see this? I got this when I arrested the Catwoman wannabe. Women. They're crazy. Don't you agree, Zach? Yeah, women are crazy. Not you. Getting zip not at that. Oh, crazy axe wielding jaywalkers! <laughs> sort of hoping we hit those squirrels. That's what you get for driving that fast in the rain in a Ford Mustang. That's eh, a Dell. Fuck that computer. I think you're going to have to take a hold on that cigarette. Smoking's bad for you, kids. Hmm. Zach, there goes the civilized world. That's how badass York is. He gets into a car crash. 
lights up a cigarette in the rain. He's hardcore, dude. Okay, cool. Dude, your flashlight is your nipple? He's got a shiny nipple. Huh, I got a medal. Crashing your car gets you a medal, huh? I'll take that steel pipe. Alright, litter, litterers around here, man. There you go, that's how you draw it. And then, okay, yeah. Boom, okay. The control scheme's really weird in this game. But anyway, let's go for a walk in the woods. Five bucks for breaking a fence. Someone's having a squirrel fight match. I hear heavy breathing from that way. Let's check it out. <clears throat> you know, racial profiling is wrong. Looks like we're being welcomed. Zach, I'll let you handle the meet and greet. Okay. I'm pretty good at talking to people. <clears throat> Got a can. You know, I really like walks in the wood. It's pretty nice out here. <clears throat> Besides the rain and everything. So it reminds me of today. It's raining cats and dogs. Well, that's what it sounds like it's doing here. Man. Someone someone doesn't know they have a leak in their tomato sauce can. <clears throat> Aww. Poor puppy. Huh? Nice legs, baby. Hmm. Hmm. So, so much for my hopes for a peaceful picnic. Do me a favor and stay sharp, Zach. I'm sharp as a tack. And serious like a heart attack. <clears throat> oh, girl, don't run. Oh, you can go in there. That's my love shack. What the hell is that? Um, okay. I hate pickles. I'll take them. I hate pickles. They're so disgusting. They're like goblin penises in a can. I don't understand it. Looks like someone had a heavy flow day. Boink! <clears throat> what is this? Dog park? Everything's fenced in. Oh my god. You tore your dress. You shouldn't scratch that hard. Your hands will get all bloody. Man, people really bend over backwards in this town to help you out. Okay, I got a mysterious shadow. Doesn't look like a shadow. Looks like a person. Okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah get it. Yeah. Alright. Man, we got yoga zombies here. And they, they bleed purple. Oh, God. Alright, so reload is B, but you have to be aiming. Man, that top knot is terrible. Oh, more of them, and it's redneck now. Um, come on. I can't walk past the purple fart gas. 
Uh, there you go. Yeah, I'm sure a bandage would help with your severed limb needs. FBI agents approve. Mm, man, can't see much through this fog. The path might be blocked from the rain. We should stay away from obvious danger. That don't look like fog. That looks like a weird thing of jello. Bill Cosby was here. Wow, automated doors in the middle of the woods? It's amazing. Nah, I don't feel like profiling today. It's just gonna show us the same things over and over again. Situations, but that one, that one takes the cake and eats it's it the too. First time I've been attacked so directly. Zach, can you give me a logical explanation about what that was? Yoga zombies. Never mind. Don't answer. Life is fun because of the mysteries, right, Zach? Life's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Oh, I gotta collect call. Yeah, I'll save. Sounds like fun. Oh, what's this? A lollipop. Hmm. Wonder if I can use that as a weapon. That'd be awesome. <sighs> they gotta get maintenance out here to change the light bulbs. Jeez. Doesn't make much of a dip. <sighs> what did I tell you about walking outside in the rain? You'll get a cold. It's bad for you. Mm. A sign I can't read. Watch this. Go Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, never mind. Dude, do you really think your arm's going to save you? the part where you fall down. Oh. All right, can you die quicker, please? Thank you. All right, I'll take another steel pipe. Because the weapons in this game, especially melee weapons, are sort of like Breath of the Wild weapons. They break every five minutes. Well, actually, no. Breath of the Wild weapons, they break, like, every hit. That's what drives me crazy about that game. What adds variety to the game with more weapons that you have to use? There's not much variety in swords. It's either you hit people with it or you don't. An old sign I can make out G R E N V A L. Looks like we're headed down this road. This doesn't look like a road. It looks like a boardwalk. Oh great, now they're coming out of the ground. Yeah. Man, that's actually pretty awesome. I mean, I wish I can have a mode of transportation like that. Do you have a reliable source of transportation, sir, to get the back and forth to work? Yeah, I sort of crawl out of purple puddles in the ground. And when I disappear into the ground, I make fart gas. It's awesome. Come on. <sighs> you know you'd be a lot more effective if you didn't turn around and do the limbo every time you try to kill me, right? Agent York really needs to pack an umbrella. He's going to be really soaked when he gets out of here. I mean, he could catch death out here. Never mind all the monsters and stuff. Mm. Looks like Kylo Ren was here. Got a little upset. The daycare had to call his parents. The generator looks really bad. Zach, I think the killer really had a grudge against it. Yeah, I think so. Or he just wanted to ask it a question. Ha 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 ha. Zach, let's try to find a way to fix this mess. Oh. I'm getting the thing, the game flashbacks all of a sudden. They should do a remastered edition of that, and its tagline should be, now with more fuses. 
That'd be awesome. Wow, it's an exposed wire. If OSHA was here, they'd get all over them. And also, it can fuse through solid objects. Wow. Technology these days. All right, lock. Fuck that lock. Locks don't hold me back. I wonder what was so important inside this shed that they had to lock it like that. I mean, by the way, that was the biggest padlock I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, die. I'm going to have to wait an hour so I can get to this because the purple fart gas is in the way. Don't worry, I wouldn't want to smell it either. Oh. Alright, whenever you want to dissipate, thanks. Generator repair. So easy. The power in the area should be much more stable now. Let's hurry ahead, Zach. All right. Ah. Oh. Go away. Man, what is this, Black Friday? This is Walmart, isn't it? Nothing but rednecks. Ah, come on. Oh, you're not dead? They, they take forever to die, so it sort of looked like he was dead. Oh, I know what it is. It's it's election day. All the rednecks are coming out to vote for Trump. Really, though, how many people really come out here? No one must. Because, look, how long has this, car, this other car been here? Maybe it's that crazy jaywalker again with the axe. They really need to put up, like, axe-murdering crazy jaywalker signs around here. If they're going to cross in the middle of the road like that. I mean, how many people could get killed that way? Jeez. I did. I did kill you. That's why you're dying right now. You just die in really dramatic fashions. Oh! Oh, yeah! Eat it. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. That's racist, dude. You're going all blackface on me. I wonder what this guy's problem is. He's the one that ran me off the road. I gotta go get him so I can report it to the police. Because they're going to get me on a hit and run. Even though I didn't hit him. Should have figured. Japanese and their tentacle porn. Huh? Who left all these Twizzlers out here? Hmm, Twizzlers. I'm impressed. He got all that from a Twizzler and an axe and a yoga zombie. Really impressed. Better hold on to this vine. Something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me about it. Wow. Yesterday morning, the milk I poured in my coffee made a sign. It said... Tomorrow you'll arrive in a place that will change your fate. I wish that's what my coffee did. All it does to me is give me the shits. Let's call this in. 
Yeah, I'll save. Hmm. And now we're going to town. There is open world elements to this game. It's pretty neat. For a small game, it's pretty big. Greenvale. Nature Preserve. Schmuckers. Jams and perverse preserves. With a name like Schmuckers, it's gotta be good. Welcome to Greenvale. Actually, it does not say welcome to Greenvale. It says Greenvale Nature Preserve. I'm gonna have to report this. False advertisement. This has very Dreamcast-esque graphics. I think that's why I like this game so much. Hmm. His undies have to be soaked. Now you were very late. Yeah, I sort of fell off a cliff. Oh, she's definitely not the love interest. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. I didn't think Jaywalkers would run me off the road. Special agent, Francis York Morgan. Like the peppermint. Please just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Agent York? It's good, that's good. Are you the sheriff? Uh, no, I'm Deputy Sheriff Emily Wise. I'm pretty sure he's teleporting around somewhere. He went looking for you, actually. He should be back soon. I see. If you don't mind me asking, did you walk all the way here? My car broke down, that's all. Ah. <sighs> Completely blue water. Um, you just gonna sit here and stare at me like that? She's easy on the eyes. Definitely worth a trip to the primitive world. Women are crazy, but Zach. Don't I mean York. Anything about what happened back there. She'll think you're a psycho. Don't want that, do we, Zach? Welcome to Greenvale. And introducing I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. The incredible teleporting sheriff with the most awesome Fu Manchu. FBI Special <clears throat> Agent Francis York Morgan. Please just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Could you tell me why the FBI is so interested in a small town homicide? Let's just say it's a personal interest in killers of young women. I'm always looking for new sample cases to help me with my profile. Both our superiors have cleared this with each other. You can remain in command. You don't have a problem with this, do you? No. No problem. Just want to set things straight. Our small town has its share of problems. I'm the one fixing them one by one and maintaining peace and order. You can have your profiling sample but I need you to understand that. Of course. <clears throat> of course. By the way, George, I had a little accident with my car. Could you send someone to take care of it? Oh, and my clothes and luggage are still inside. Go get All it, right. bitch. Don't worry. I'll get my assistant, Thomas, to take care of it. Do you need anything else? A clean pair of shorts. Thanks. That'll be all. Well then, I think I'll rest up first at the hotel. Then I'll join you on your investigation. Don't know how to say this, but uh, we really don't need your help. Unlike some of your corrupt city police officers, I play it by the book. I hope you'll come to appreciate that, Agent Morgan. It's York, you son of a pig. We'll handle the investigation. You just think of this as a vacation. Take it easy. Enjoy the nature here. You don't have to be a tree worshiper to appreciate the wildlife here. Zach, let's reassess the situation. There are no cavemen here. We're as far forward as the Middle Ages. And we've just met the king.
That car is slightly levitating off the ground, too. <clears throat> Amazing. Amazing. They have levitating cars in this time. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> yeah, I kicked those enemies' asses. Twelve gauge shotgun. When were we get that? Can't wait. Um, yeah, I, I don't need to see the previously during the investigation. I don't think you guys do either. This shows you what just happened. Grandpa's just washing his Skinamax again. It's broken. I've been using that one for a long time. Why didn't you get it repaired? This TV is important to you, right? It's got some memories attached to Me it. Me grandma right? watch her special movies on it. I used to watch movies on this thing with your grandma all the time. Adult grandma movies. movies? Of course she did. She was a dirty Everyone little bitch. Loves movies, right? I love movies too. I've never been to a movie theater though. Oh, we're back here now. Yay. And we got a trading card of a creepy kid. Cool. Yay. Oh, were you girls fighting over me? What I oh, don't turn your back on me. It's alright. It's alright, Sheila. You'll be alright. Man, someone really needs to get these people a rake. They must have mi missed uh, Leaf Collection Day. Oh, what's this? A sugar donut. Hmm. Oh, girls, you didn't have to leave me a donut and some coffee. Thank you. I'll be back, ladies. I'm just going into this creepy door. Yeah, seriously, look at that. Man. Just leave me alone. Sorry, I had to do it. That was bad. There's someone behind us. Your. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Nice PJs. They make it in your size, kid. Come to the dark side. Hold your breath. What, did you just fart, kid? Oh. Hurry. Like this. Cover your mouth. Oh, God, okay. I'll hold my breath. Gotta be hell on the back. Hey! How are ya? You got some serious gingivitis, bruh. Can you prove that a tic tac? You could, but I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, good. I can stop holding my breath. Do you really need a door right here? There's not even a wall. You can just walk around the door. Who are you? Kid's hands just goes through the doorknob. <sighs> oh, 
this once again, I hate pickles. They're salty, they're terrible, and the texture. The texture's the worst. And speaking of bad textures, check out that blanket. It looks like he just threw a burlap sack over himself. And the bed is gigantic. Looks like someone diarrheaed all over it. Looks stiff, like they left it out in the rain and then it got really cold out. Zach. The symbolism in my dreams continues to intensify. A forest of red trees. A carpet with red leaves. A strange doll. And twin angels. But that child is what bothers me the most. I swear I've seen him before. I just can't remember where. Well, that'll probably come back to me eventually. For now, we need coffee. That picture in the background, is that the same picture as the, cafeteria, Zach. the Twin Peaks? Some real coffee. I really need some coffee. Twin then Peaks Hotel? to the sheriff's office. There's a proper procedure for everything, right, Zach? Nothing phallic about it, that image. Bunch of bananas. Let's save it. What is it with hotels and having images of naked women on the wall? Got a bathroom. Who is this sexy guy? This really low res mirror. I didn't know they sold them in low res. In the bathroom. Let's see what this says. A simple guide to Greenvale with an overview of the shops in town. Delicious turkey sandwiches. Milk barn convenience store with rock and roll music. Enjoy your evenings at the Galaxy of Terror and Sweary 65. Galaxy of Terror, I believe, is a film. And I woke up in the middle of the night one night. And I had it on, but I fell asleep during it. And I woke up to the scene. There's this chick being, like, naked ch chick being straddled by this alien. And it looks like he's got, like, a bunch of nipples, like a pregnant dog. But it's just dicks. And they're just slapping her around. It's hilarious. Though it's a really weird thing to wake up to. Yeah, pretty weird. Hope they have a really skinny tub here. Oh, <gasps> they have a really skinny tub. Hmm. I don't need to take shit right now. Let's go to the cafe. Get myself a coffee. It's quiet in here. Hopefully they have waffles here. I really could go for some waffles. Some coffee. That's my favorite thing about traveling. <laughs> the waffles. Huh. Hmm. Only $25 for five lollipops. Wow. Talk about inflation. And saltine crackers. Only $35 for four. That's a deal. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. See how much coffee is here. Oh, okay. This isn't too bad. It's like Starbucks prices. But it doesn't say venti. And wait a minute. That's water, not coffee. <sighs> At least they recycle. What is it? Camoed flooring? I love this song. It's Life is Beautiful, by the way. What's going on, Silver Fox? Good morning, Mr. Morgan. Your breakfast is ready for you. Did you give me a good sniff? Hey, this is... Polly Oxford. Just Polly is fine. Polly Pocket. Thank you, Polly. I'm starving. rolling up her sleeves on me. Is everything all right, Mr. Morgan? 
Yes, it's delicious, Polly. My compliments to the chef. I'm hoping my cooking will bring back repeat guests. Honestly, though, it's been a while since anyone has stayed here. I couldn't help but notice. Aside from you and me, there seems to be no other guests or workers around. What's that? The salt's in that white shaker there. Thank you. I was wondering if there were any other guests or workers here. Oh, no, no one else. My husband and I used to run this place, but he's in heaven now. You've been working here alone since then. Must be hard by yourself. Oh, my. We're all out of pepper. I'm very sorry. It must be difficult to run a hotel by yourself. Well, yes, I suppose. I could just live on my pension. But I have to admit, running a hotel is kind of like a hobby of mine. That's nice. Polly, it might help to hear you better if you could sit a little closer. Oh my, Mr. Morgan, you're embarrassing me. So early in the day, too. I think I'm a little too old for you. It's and called Morningwood, okay? Departed husband, may God rest his soul. I appreciate the invitation, but I'm fine over here. Polly. I think I can see I a little of your neck skin. You from all the way over there. You're exaggerating. This is fine. It won't do to be all clumped together with such a large table and cafeteria. We have to make use of all this space. It's an awesome kazoo solo. Now tell me, that wound on your face, what happened? Let's just say I had some trouble during the last case I was working on. I'm sure it'll heal. It's just a flesh wound. Oh my, well, there's no need to be the tough guy here. I want you to be able to relax here. I've prepared a special room for you. A famous rock star once stayed in the same room, you know. Really? I feel honored. Only killed 20 hookers in there. Anything at all, just let me know. I'll help you out in any way I can. Zach, the lady is offering to help. Do you want to ask her about the town? Yeah, it's a good idea. What can you tell me about this town? Well, let me see. You might know this already, but the town is called Greenvale. It really? It's here quite often, but it's a nice place, surrounded with nature. It was a big and prospering lumber town until not so long ago. We used to have a population of over 6,000 people. Less than a tenth of them left now. This hotel was built back then. We saw plenty of guests in those days. Hmm. That's why this place is so big for such a small community. I have so many fond memories from back then. I suppose the clock on the community center is quite famous too. The clock? Oh yes, it's lovely. You know, it tells time. Every morning and at night to let the whole town know the time. You'll hear it many times during your stay. It's a beautiful sound. And you'll love it too, I think. I look forward to hearing it then. Anything else you'd like to know about? Hmm. Yeah, tell me about the shops here. Um, what the fuck? Well, Mr. Morgan, I'd better start cleaning up. Sorry. You just Controller didn't easy. work there. I'll bring your coffee out in a moment. Thank you, Polly. I have to warn you, though. I am very particular about my coffee. The very best you have, please. I understand. Great minds I'll think alike, right York. Back with it. <clears throat> he looks so smug standing over his cup of coffee. Oh, come on. No! 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 There you go. Sorry. My controller's being all weird. What is that? Hmm. Did you see that, Zach? Clear as a crisp spring morning. F. F. U. In the coffee. I think my coffee's trying to tell me to fuck myself. Never fails. Now then, let's get going. Start my Xbox controllers just being wonky today. Hmm. See, 
I, I never really noticed, like, I've never really gotten to the point, because there's a hunger meter, and there is a sleep meter. I've never gotten to, to the point where those actually affected my game. I don't understand it. But this is a really big hotel. Uh, you can actually explore a lot of it. I have the feeling that I forgot something, Zach. Um, which you forget. Oh, yeah. Waffles. I gotta see if they have waffle makers here. Hmm. Waffles, waffles, waffles. Observe. Have some fantastic coffee and find out what your fortune is today. Uh, I already did. Observe. Meals are served buffet style. Nothing noteworthy on the menus. With a hotel this big, I'm not worried about the quality of food, but I'd opt for junk food any day. Right, Zach? Yeah, and waffles. I'm not seeing any waffles here. What is it? half this shit anyway? Pizza? You guys are gluttons around here. Pizza in the morning? Ah, so quiet. I'm going to call it here. I think this is a good time to call the video. So I'll save it. Hope you guys are enjoying Deadly Premonition. Hope the sound is okay for you. This game has a really odd way of messing with the sound. In some scenes, it's too low. Some scenes, it's just way too high. So I've done my best to make sure that it is audible and not too loud for you guys. But hey. Only time will tell. Anyway, thanks for watching, and make sure you have a good night. Good night.